White House is considering a potential trip to Europe for President Biden. However, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says nothing is confirmed. Roll tape. Well, we are, of course, closely engaged with our NATO partners and European allies, as you've heard us say a number of times, about the next steps in diplomacy, whether that's providing additional humanitarian or security assistance or the mechanics for future conversations. Uh, but there's not been any final decision about a trip. No decision. Let's bring in Mercedes Schlapp. Mercedes, maybe in two weeks we're hearing. What's, what's everybody waiting for? Now is the time to be there, no? You said it, David. It is the waiting administration. This is what they do. They're, they have not been on offense when it comes to Russia. They've been too soft on dealing with Putin. They don't really quite know how to deal with Putin's aggression and have really allowed probably the other NATO leaders to take a more aggressive position. Uh, look, Kamala Harris was in Poland. She was very ineffective. She didn't show strength in terms of her leadership. Uh, it was a lot of giggling, a lot of laughing and really not uh, substantial, I think, in terms of providing solutions. Yeah. Uh, at this point, I think it's going to be very interesting to see what if Biden decides to go to Europe. I think at this point, it would be very important for him to show up, meet with the NATO leaders, and really have a plan in place uh, to confront and deal with Putin. Well, I remember when I was plan, at the yeah. White House with President Trump, you know, he would call the world leaders. He wouldn't let it just go for weeks and weeks without um, having some sort right. of progress made in the foreign Mercedes, policy. Mercedes, I want.